These NFTs are selling for millions and millions of dollars. And in this video, we're taking the multi-million dollar photos from your phone and we're turning them into something physical and real. Now I did look around on the internet and I have to say, this has gotta be one of, if not maybe even the first time this is being done. So let's jump in and let's see how we do it. Hey guys, and welcome back, or welcome if this is your first time viewing the channel. My name's Austin, I'm an engineer, I do 3D design, so basically, I can make anything into a digital object or file on the computer and then turn that digital file into a physical object via 3D printing or really any other manufacturing techniques. For example, maybe you see the Tesla charger behind me here or here's a pair of modified Crocs from a previous video that I did. You get the idea. Now, like many of you, I've been perplexed with all of this NFT stuff. I saw that some of these images were selling online for millions of dollars. I started diving in, I looked into it, I did some research thinking I must be missing something, there must be something to this that I don't understand, but in a lot of cases it is just a photo on your phone for millions of dollars. Now, I'm not gonna dive into my opinion on NFTs or really even discuss them that much in this video, but the point of this is that that whole thing gave me the idea that it would be cool if there was also a physical object that paired with that NFT. So. How we're gonna make this happen? Well, we definitely have a few options. We could hand carve something from wood, we could uh, sculpt it from clay, paper mache, et cetera. However, for the best results, let's just totally nerd out. What we're gonna do, we're gonna sculpt this on the computer here in digital sculpting software. Then we're gonna 3D print it using a highly detailed resin printer. Then we're gonna cure it under UV light, prime it, paint it, and then finally we can put it on display. So. First things first, let's get started with the digital sculpt, which will definitely be the hardest part. Okay, I think we nailed it. That was a couple hours of work put into about a five second time lapse. I hope you enjoyed that five seconds more than I enjoyed those couple hours of work. Although it was a cool and fun design, most of the work that I do is boring engineering work. So it is nice to mix it up and do stuff like that. Now, before we move on, I do wanna take a minute and thank the sponsor of this video for actually making all of this possible, guys. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Personally, I've taken a lot of courses on Skillshare to help improve the various aspects of my business, okay? The one thing that I love most about Skillshare is that the courses are straightforward and also practical. For example, I recently took a course called YouTube Success, Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD to help me improve the quality of this YouTube channel, which you are watching on right now. You can see that this course takes us through the entire process from starting your project all the way to posting your video. Because of this, it makes it easy to follow and it also gives you actionable steps such that I can take what I learned and apply it directly to the videos that I'm making for this channel. Skillshare brings a ton of value to me as a business owner because I have to wear a ton of hats and whenever I need to learn a new skill, I always know that the best and fastest way to learn that skill is through Skillshare. Lastly, on this channel, you guys know that I do a lot of 3D design and engineering related work. There are a ton of great courses on Skillshare where you too can learn those skills. I'll link some of the ones that I recommend below. And additionally, just for you guys, Skillshare has actually hooked us up. There's a link in the description. The first 1000 people that click and use that link will get a free month trial of Skillshare. So go ahead, click that link below and try that out. Okay, now back to our project. So now that we have this in digital form, but not digital like a JPEG, the one that you pay millions of dollars for. No, this is a digital 3D object that actually has a lot more use than if it was just a JPEG. For example, uh, if this 3D design, instead of that monkey sculpt was like an iPhone, you could send that digital file to a machine shop and they would actually cut it out of metal and they could give you a physical object based on your design. Basically, a 3D digital file can be used as a blueprint for creating a physical object. Uh, that's all I'll say for that. I don't wanna get too into the engineering side. So yes, let's leave it at that. Now, 
The next step for us is we have to bring this monkey to life. And the way we're gonna do that is, yes, you guessed it, 3D printing. I personally love 3D printing. I think it's the coolest thing in the world. There's tons of other videos on my channel too if you wanna check out more 3D printing stuff. Now the best way to make a physical model of this NFT is actually going to be to resin print it. Meaning, basically what we're doing is we are taking a liquid and we're curing it layer by layer to make a solid object. Now, the resin printer I have right there is a little bit small, so I did have my colleague print this one for us so that we could make a bigger print. Here's what the process looks like. These parts are for a bike that I made a while ago. We're gonna be doing the exact same thing, but for this monkey sculpt. And here is the NFT in physical form. After this was printed in resin, it was then cured under a UV light so that we get a safe and solid object. And at this point, honestly, I think it looks amazing. If we compare this directly to the actual NFT, I'm gonna put them both up on the screen now. I think it looks pretty good. Comment below, let me know what you think. I think it turned out really well. So. Another cool thing that I should point out is we can actually take that digital 3D file and scale it as big or small as we want. So we could have printed this in any size. Now for the painting, honestly, I couldn't have painted this to save my life. So my buddy Aaron handled that part. And here is a little time-lapse video of Aaron doing his magic. And drum roll please, as you can already see, it's on the desk. This is indeed the final product. I'll put a bunch of close-up photos and videos of it on the screen so you can see. But from NFT to physical art, I love it. I think it looks amazing. Aaron, fantastic work with the painting and my bad for not making the glasses a separate piece. So what we did is we just had Aaron actually paint the eyes to red and blue there, which isn't uh, ideal, but I think it worked out pretty well uh, given what I gave him. So I should also note, I do not own this NFT. I actually just Googled expensive NFT, found basically the first photo that I liked online and then went ahead and modeled it and we made this. If you happen to own this, let me know. This thing's all yours if you do own it because I don't really have any use for this. But nonetheless, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it's cool to see uh, one of these NFTs that all these people are spending millions of dollars for and it's actually in physical form. Let me know your thoughts in the comments or maybe if there's another crazy NFT that you want to see in real life, comment it down below and perhaps we'll make a model of that too. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing.